So when I'm hooking his arm with one of my arms, that means I'm taking away the post on that side, right? So that means if I'm gonna block this side, I'm gonna focus on the sit-up escape as my defense. That means I have to use my legs to stop anything that direction, my legs and my, and my body weight, right? So if he tries to bridge, okay, and I stay here, I've gotta try to use my body and my legs in order to stop him. Eventually, if he can start getting me moving, boom, I come back, I'm really in trouble here. If I keep my legs locked, his hips are turned, I cannot maintain this position. I have to separate my legs and kick through him while putting that, uh, keeping the other leg on his head to hold him down. Does that make sense? Yeah. If not, he's just gonna complete that other one. If I insist on this and he bridges and I try to hold, he's gonna be able to eventually come up and get his arm. Right? So he's counting on my counter to his defense in order to do the next one. Counter to the counter to the counter. Right? Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. So I'm using, and now if I'm the other way, just to make it too easy, just on your back. Oh, yeah. Yep. So if instead of being top to bottom, I'm bottom to top, now it's the opposite direction. He's going to try to sit up, right? And I've got to keep my weight this way. No, let's sit oh, up. Sorry. Yep. No, it's okay. I've got to try to keep my weight on this side. But again, if I keep my legs locked and he goes to chop his legs and sit up and knock me over, I've really got to start using that leg to keep his body down, right? And his head down. So I'm trying to use that, those defenses to keep them off balance so that at no time do they have time to start pulling on my hands. It's when I'm laying flat that a lot of our grip breaks will start becoming much easier, or at least less stressful. Cool? Yeah. Cool. Couple more up. One, two, three.